A lot of people today use Blender to print their 3D models because in the last decade 3D printing has been developed significantly and now can be used to do many important things in different industries with the most important being manufacturing, medicine, architecture, entertainment and design. In this video we are gonna talk about what Blender is capable of when it comes to 3D printing and what it offers to both beginners and professionals. Blender in 3D printing Blender has supported 3D printing 3D models since 2002. However, when Blender version 2.67 was released, 3D printing became even more accessible and powerful than ever before, thanks to 3D printing toolbox and real-time mesh analysis features. And in the last couple of years, a lot of tools and features have been added to Blender that can directly and indirectly help you to print better 3D models. 3D printing organic models for the most part, if you want to print 3D organic forms, such as characters, animals, monsters, or anything else that does not represent a solid surface, Blender is great for this option. This also includes organic shapes in 3D models such as sofas, pillows, trees, and other artistic design shapes. Blender as a 3D modeling software has very important advantages, one of them is the ability to have a lot of control and flexibility. This is very important because 3D printing is not just about creating solid industrial parts, but it is also about creating organic shapes, especially in the entertainment industry. For example, 3D printing is being used in the film and entertainment industry and has made a great difference in character image design, props and even whole scenes sometimes, which is very efficient in terms of saving time and money. Blender is very good for modeling organic shapes because it has all the necessary tools to do so and it can be used for modeling everything you can think of. Probably it is not as easy compared to the other 3D printing software but it can reach impressive levels of details and complexity in comparison especially knowing that it has the ability to sculpt organic surfaces. 3D printing hard surface models In terms of modeling 3D hard surface models Blender is considered one of the best 3D packages even though it is free for everyone even for commercial use. You can create complex models of machines, robots and mechanical parts using its native tools. But if you want to take it to the next level, you can use some fantastic specialized annals that can help you be more accurate, also do more by saving time and energy. When it comes to 3D printing industrial parts for mechanical engineering, industrial manufacturing, architecture or design, the most important problem you will face is the tricky nature of accurate measurements in 3D packages such as Blender, because unlike specialized computer-aided design software, working on these models requires experience and patience to get to something close to what you can achieve in software that are used by architects and engineers. Preparing 3D models for printing in Blender once you are done modeling the model you want to print, one of the most important things you need to know about creating and preparing 3D models to be printed is, if you have a model created from several objects or meshes, first make sure that each individual mesh is manifold, or what is known as watertight, because it is not going to be printed correctly or not going to be printed in the first place, if this is not the case. Non-manifold geometry is a geometry that cannot exist in the real world, meaning that a 3D model can be represented digitally, but there is no geometry in the real world that could physically support it. Since the mesh or the 3D model is defined by edges, faces and vertices, it has to be manifold. If the mesh is a non-manifold mesh, it means that there are errors in the 3D model that cannot be defined with the precision geometry of the 3D model. The software of the 3D printer is reading the exact geometric representation of the model so as to print it. Thus, in case the 3D design contains non-manifold modeling errors that prevent this precision of geometry, the 3D file will not be recognized by the 3D printer and consequently the 3D model will not be printed. Also, your model should be one piece, not a collection of separate pieces that are not really welded together. Once you've got all your meshes manifold, Make sure that every mesh is its own object, and when you carefully make sure that you have no problems for 3D printing, when it comes to your mesh, scale your object to the size you want it to be, then export it to the 3D printing software. 3D printing tools in Blender When modeling, there is the ruler or protractor tool to help you measure the thickness. This is important when you are optimizing for both cost, time, and structure strength. There is also the 3D print toolbox 
that comes with Blender. It is an add-on that calculates volume, surface and overhangs. This is necessary for estimating cost and print time. If you want to make sure that everything is gonna work fine, Blender files often need a little fixes before sending them to the printer. However, there are some programs like MeshLab and NetFab that help you fix these files. Also, if you use surfaces like Shapeways, they will fix your files automatically before it goes to print. Blender versus other 3D printing software Compared to specialized CAD software that architects and engineers use for designing mechanical or any other functional parts that actually work in the real world, like automotive parts, medical devices, or even parts in the space industry that require an insane degree of accuracy, Blender can be less accurate because it is not created for these purposes. But you can do it if you want to. The thing is, it is gonna take more time and effort and the result is gonna be less perfect due to the fact that Blender has fewer features for measuring easily, effectively and efficiently like what we can find in other CAD software, since it is more of a sculpting and 3D modeling and animation tool. But sometimes the bottleneck is gonna be more on 3D printers ability to print with accuracy than the model fire's accuracy. On the other hand, CAD software such as Softworks, Inventor, Fusion 360 and others are very good when it comes to accurate industrial design and they can be very fast as well. Also using CAD software you are probably going to be facing fewer problems exporting your 3D printing files. But it is very tough to create any organic models using it, let alone working on something close to what you can create inside Blender when it comes to organic shapes. Should I use Blender or other CAD software for 3D printing? Blender is very good when it comes to 3D printing, especially if you want to model characters, environment props or machines, or anything else organic for this matter. It is an excellent software. You can learn more about it and get creative using its tools and features, and over time it will become easier to create 3D printing models. If you need perfect precision when 3D printing mechanical pieces, then you can use CAD software like SOLIDWORKS, Fusion 360, or even a free CAD software if you can't afford the paid ones. 3D Printing Applications Using Blender Knowing that Blender is a powerful 3D package that has the ability to do almost everything, including the ability to print 3D models, it can actually do a lot of different things outside of the industrial 3D printing and engineering stuff. Miniature Characters or Toys Blender could definitely be used to create 3D print ready miniature from start to finish whether you are a beginner or professional 3D character printer. And there are some artists who use ZBrush in addition to Blender to do final touches if you have complicated characters with tens of millions of polygons, but as we said before, you can do it all in Blender. One important difference between video game, animation or film character modeling and 3D printing character modeling is that a 3D print character cannot benefit from the visual techniques like smooth shading baking on a map to a low poly model, etc. All the details that you wish to be present in your 3D model must be present in the geometry itself. And that means a very detailed organic 3D print model is gonna be far heavier in terms of poly count than any other kind of model. A high resolution character in a video game might be around 20 to 80,000 polygons after retopology. A very detailed 3D print character might be 20 to 30 million polys prior to decimation, and 500 to 1 million polys when sent to a printer. Jewelry Blender is a good 3D software for designing jewelry, that's why it is being used for this purpose. You can do it using the tools that modelers and designers usually use, and to make the process easier and to get better results, you can use Jewelcraft which is an add-on that allows you to add gemstones and prongs to the model you have designed. You must have a workable model that you have already drawn up. So basically Jewelcraft helps you to place stones, add prongs and use cutouts to modify your model for jewelry design work and ready it for 3D printing. The Entertainment Industry Movie studios and special effects artists are now able to use 3D printing to make concept models and full-size props set pieces and costumes. It is a very good alternative to spending many hours handcrafting hundreds of pieces because they can just use a 3D package, whether it be Blender or any other 3D package, to get the job done. Architecture 
Architects can actually use Blender to 3D print different architectural structures made from different materials to clients to create a physical representation of what the building is going to look like and can also be done using architecture computer aided design software which is what architects use for the most part. Interior design Interior design is a good application for 3D printing since it is cost effective and less time consuming because you can just print the 3D models you created in Blender and start bringing your interior design to life. Also smaller items that are usually custom made can be printed very fast without wasting human labor, time and money during the process. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add you can leave it in the comment section below. Also you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.